There is one question from the Twitter feed that is coming up a few times, and that is how are faculty paid through Straighter Line? And uh, we talk a lot about how much students will have to pay for their educations, but what about the faculty? So um, uh, I need to distinguish between what we've done so far and then what we will be adding. Uh, so what we've done so far is we built courses using the course redesign model. Uh, how many are familiar with course redesign? Uh, some. It's a well-regarded uh, example of how colleges can redesign their freshman college courses to save money and improve quality. And we did the same thing. So you, instead of having a um, uh, faculty member on the SAGE, uh, you have uh, students engaging with content. You have on-demand help. You have frequent assessments and quizzes. And you have non-academic people dealing with non-academic questions. So our courses are currently tutor-supported rather than instructor-led. So when a student's moving through the material, there's always someone there to help them. Smart Thinking, my first company, provides live 24-7 tutoring. Um, and we bundle that in with the courses. So it's just like a course redesign course, um, but put online. And we could go a couple steps further, realizing that if students are engaging with the content and have on-demand help, they don't have to be there you know, three times a week for three months. They can move at their own pace. And if they're moving at their own pace, they don't have to pay a flat fee for the course. They can pay only as long as they're engaged. So it gives students an incentive to complete one way or the other, but to finish one way or the other. Um, so that's what we've done so far, tutor-supported courses. We've built the courses using uh, people who have all the appropriate credentials. And we've made sure that our courses look just like what a college might offer. Uh, going forward, students will have the choice between a self-paced course like what we have now or an instructor-led course. We'll see what they choose. Um, and, uh, but those students, those instructors who will be able to offer our courses much like an eBay seller would, uh, will be able to set prices above and beyond ours. They will get the difference. They will also get a, um, essentially a commission for students that they attract through their own marketing efforts into this model. No matter what pathway a student takes, they take the same assessments. <laughs> so we can create real apples to apples comparisons about pass rates for any given professor, about any given content, about any given pa uh, pa uh, pathway. Uh, so going forward, we will have more of a uh, professor component. It will be a pilot. We're going to start with about 10 to 20 professors as effectively our anchor professors. Uh, and I guess I'll maybe I'll stop talking in a second. But one thing that's been very interesting, which I want to share, uh, as I've talked about this with some of the colleges with whom we work, there has been interest among colleges in staffing their own professors on our platform at our prices as a way to reach students prior to enrollment. Uh, so for instance, a bundle of pre-enrollment courses to 11th graders or to a particular corporation, uh, which brings up all sorts of interesting issues. I think it's a great marketing strategy, but brings up some questions about what enrollment really means.